Hey everybody, Merrick here, and today I'm going to show you how to turn the Comics Workshop printable one-sheet eight-page mini-comic into an eight-page little book that we can draw our stories in and share with all our friends. Um, all right, so you're going to need the printable one-sheet eight-page mini-comic sheet. You'll also want to have the instructions for how to fold a printed copied one-sheet. Um, so the one-sheet mini-comic is my favorite kind of comic to make right now. As I fold this template, I'm going to be watching where that first page is. So watch that number one. I'll highlight it here so it's easy to see on this video. So the folding goes like this. First fold, we'll hold our page like this, and then we'll fold the back down so that we're still looking at those pages. So that will look like this. Fold the back down, or the top down. Match up those corners. And I always slide up and out and your page should look like this now. All right, the next fold is we'll take the right side and we'll fold it around back so we're just looking at page one and eight there. So that will look like this. Match those corners up, slide over and along and your page will look like that. All right, our third fold is we're gonna take the left side and fold it behind. So now we're just looking at our first page and you can see that the first page will be the outside front cover of this book, but it's not a book yet, is it? So now we're gonna open it up so that we're looking at all eight pages once again. And we just have to reverse this center fold here, which means we'll be looking at just the left four pages like that. And the next step is we'll take our scissors and we'll come in here and we're going to cut along this fold just past the halfway line, pretty much just past the word workshop along that fold. It'll look like this. There we go. Maybe a little further. All right. Now we can open this page up and it should stand up like two end to end tenths. See that? We can actually sharpen these folds on either side to get it to really look like these two tents in the picture here. And keeping an eye all the time on our number one page so we see where that is and we see where the front of the book is. Now the next step is we're going to open up that chicken beak there by taking either side and opening it until it makes this X shape. You should be able to look right down on it and see that X shape. I'll show you that one more time. It's always good to see this tricky move one more time. So it goes, opens up, makes the X, and all you do now is you bring these three arms together and you bring this fourth arm around and you might have to finesse the folds a little bit, but now it actually is a little tiny eight page mini comic that you can draw a story into. One, as we said, is our outside front cover. Two and three are next. Four and five are next six and seven, finish it up, and you have eight on the back cover, right? So there's a story that can go in there that only you can draw. You have two ways to draw this. You can open it up like this and draw it on the open sheet. Just make sure you start on the one, draw the two and the three, then turn the page around to draw four, five, six, and seven that way along with the numbers, and then turn it around again to draw your eight. Or you can close it up like a book this is the way I like to draw it actually, and draw it into the book and then you can see how the page turns, sort of reveal each part of your story, which is really fun to see. Um, and if your imagination works like mine, I like to start on the second page and draw all the way through. And then by the time I'm done with the story, I come back and draw the outside front cover last. For some reason, that's just how my imagination works. You know, pretty much every graphic novel I draw from the Civil War Diary of Freeman Colby to my travel sketch journals like Sharjah Sketchbook, they all start out as mini comics just like this. And it's how I share my stories around and get feedback. So now that you know how to make this book, all you need now is a pencil, an inking pen, and an eraser to clean up your work. And then let's get together for a comics workshop sometime and draw some comics together. Looking forward to it. See you soon.